What's going on guys? I'm coming at you with another video today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing my Blu-ray edition is the Text Chainsaw 3D. This movie was awesome. I This movie had a lot of mixed opinions about the movie. A lot of mixed re, uh, reviews on the movie. You know, a story lacking, they were saying, uh, and uh, storytelling, the character development uh, of this movie, they, uh, they thought it wasn't that good. The acting wasn't... They thought it was weak. The plot was weak, but uh, you know, I thought the movie was great, and I thought the movie was awesome, in my opinion. Uh, I thought it was a great story to the original movie, since this movie takes pl pretty much uh, after the original movie of the Texas Chainsaw. You know, of course, on the original, you see uh, Sally escaping from the Sawyer house and uh, Leatherface going after her. Uh, doesn't get up, doesn't get to her on time, and uh, this movie takes place right after that movie. She goes to the cops. Uh, they tell her that they but butchered her friends, and when do you know it, the cops find out, and then they go. She, he goes to the Sawyer house, and uh, yeah, uh, they uh, and you see Drain Sawyer and the rest of the Sawyer family there. And of course, it's not Drain Sawyer that's playing them since the original one passed away, and this Drain Sawyer. Is played by Bill Mosley, the one that played Chop Top and Tricks Chainsaw Massacre 2. And yeah, I thought it's one of the greatest openings, probably my favorite greatest opening in the Texas Chainsaw series. And yeah, it was such an awesome scene. So yeah, one thing you know, they, uh, you know, he agrees to, uh, you know, they make a deal, and then you see um, the country, uh, the country folks around the town taking the law into their own hands and. That uh, they start burning the Sawyer house, they're killing pretty much uh, the whole Sawyer family except Leatherface, and uh, yeah, um, you notice there's so many. Uh, you know, you didn't see that family in the in the original film, but on this movie, you see like so many Sawyer uh, people in that house, and you also see like a cameo from Gunnar Hansen, the original Leatherface, in that movie, and uh, yeah, it was probably his. I think it was his last movie, and then you also see Grandpa in that movie. So yeah, it was pretty cool to see that, and then, of course, you know, with Bill Mosley in hand. So yeah, um, so yeah, the country, the 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 the, the people around the town killed, uh, you know, the Sawyer family except for Leatherface, so he's in his room locked up. So yeah, um, and then twenty years later, twenty years later, uh, Alexander Daddario, uh, I, uh, the girl that was uh, rescued by her foster parents. Uh, who this was part of the Sawyers, you know, um, they killed their mother, unfortunately she survived from the fire, but, you know, uh, once you see the movie, you know, that, uh, the man, uh, the, the foster parent, uh, kicks her in the head, and, you know, and, uh, yeah, uh, they adopt the girl, and she doesn't know that she's a Sawyer, so, yeah, uh, so, and then you have, and her name is, uh, the character that's playing, the main character is Alexander Daddario, uh, decent actor. She's very. She, I like how she acted in this movie, and um, yeah, uh, I thought she did an awesome job. Uh, so this takes place, uh, yeah, uh, in that timeline. So she inherits uh, her grandmother's house, which is a which she's it's a Sawyer, and she doesn't know she's a Sawyer. She doesn't even know that she's adopted. So she finds out all these secrets about the Sawyers and her being adopted, and uh, yeah, just a whole dilemma. So yeah, uh, so. She inherits the house, she goes to it, you know, all hell breaks loose, and then she finds out more secrets. But anyway, this movie was awesome in my opinion, and it had a great story to it. So, yeah, let me show you around it. You know, it has a, you know, I don't know about his part, you know, Trey Songs, you know, he's not really known as an actor, you know, they just put him in just for more star power to get more eyes on on the on the text chainsaw movie you know and i think there was gonna be more eyes since there are a lot of diehard uh, horror fans yeah uh, his his character you know i don't think it needed a part but you know for a movie like this i think he was kind of decent so yeah there's the digital copy you know special features commentary filmmaking with filmmaker filmmaker toby hooper actors bill moldy gunner hans and others and yeah um i think all this it comes with what it comes with and all that and yeah this movie was awesome you know i think there is a, a 3d edition but i don't i don't I, I didn't get to watch it in 3 
that but either way you still get the full impact on blu-ray in my opinion it's still worth the still worth the watch in my opinion so yeah Texas Chainsaw 3D is to watch in Fabian's opinion it's an 8 out of 10 movie it's a great story to the original it's a, it stays true to the original in my opinion and yeah oh let me talk about Leatherface uh, played by the new Leatherface actually played by Dan Yeager he did an awesome job in my opinion he is one of the best Texas Chainsaws in my opinion very awesome in my opinion underrated in my opinion so yeah um he did a badass job he was very menacing he was very vicious in this movie and he just played a great Texas Chainsaw guy uh Texas Chainsaw uh, Leatherface guy so yeah guys this movie is an awesome movie I guarantee I, if you're a big Texas Chainsaw fan like I am I uh recommend that you buy this on Blu-ray it's very worth it and it's worth the money in my opinion so yeah, guys, that's it uh, for this review. Let me know what you think of it. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.